What's up everybody? It's your boy Jeremy J. Fit and I'm back with a brand new video on this channel. As you all know, it is Super Bowl season and <laughs> shout out to my Philadelphia Eagles on making it to the Super Bowl. I'm so excited. The fur um been five years since they last um, went to the Super Bowl. It's their fourth time in franchise history. So shout out to them on making it to the Super Bowl. And I just hope that they win. And I'm just so excited because I'm just like, if they win the Super Bowl this year for the second time, it's gonna be a party on Broad Street. And I'm just I just can't wait and I will be there. <laughs> but in light to it, in light of it being the Super Bowl season. I had decided to make a little platter of nachos here. Um, that's why you see this big stack on uh, um, this big stack of um, plate that is in front of me. Um, I got um, it's um little big of a um platter of nachos. So um, I had I got you know Doritos and that's my that the my tortillas. And as you all know, my favorite flavor, the Sweet um chili, um sweet spicy chili Doritos. You already know this is my favorite one right here. Um, I got um that, and I also have over top. I got um topped it off in light of you know to the Eagles being in the Super Bowl. I topped it off with the cheesesteak, Philly cheesesteak. I'm not gonna tell you where I got it from, but you will find out where I got it from once I do a full review on this place. But just know this place do have good cheesesteaks. But you will not know where I get it from until I do the review. And I also got White Castle sliders. I put over top um, along with it. Um, they're the frozen kind. I didn't have a chance to get to a White Castle. But I had to do what I had to do to make light of this whole thing. So <laughs> this is all. You can see. This is all the big. This is the cheese steak game day. Now this is a Super Bowl. These are the Super Bowl nachos. <laughs> Super Bowl nacho platter. That's exactly what I'm about. So this is about to be lit. And I just can't wait to get into this. Once again, like I said, shout out to the Eagles on making it to the Super Bowl. And <laughs> this is gonna be for y'all. And <laughs> just hope y'all get number two this year. Alright, but before we get into this video, if this is your first time on this channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on the post notification so you'll be notified whenever I drop a brand new video, and also hit that like on this video, and don't forget to follow me on all social media platforms, at Jeremy J. Fit, on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok, and also every Thursday night at 9 o'clock, me, Brick Wall Entertainment, we go live. Me, with um, a few of our friends, we go live and we just talk and about there's a lot of foolishness. You know, we fool around a lot um, on there. We talk about viral foolishness. We talk about serious topics. We, we just do a lot. It's a whole vibe over there on our Twitch. So um, tune in every Thursday night at 9 o'clock on Twitch with us on um, Brick Wall um, Entertainment on Twitch and just come on over and just enjoy the vibe. All right, and if you want more workout tips, hit me up in my inbox or any of my social media um, platform, and I'll be sure to help y'all out. You know, any workout tips, and if you want to be um, if you want to train, if you want to um, me be your trainer. All right, now let's get into these nachos here. You no, know, we're gonna start with um, yeah, we're gonna um, yep. All right. See you again. I did it. See? <laughs> this is so good. Not the cheesesteak nachos. Oh, I forgot. I had the eye sauce on it. I got I had to I gotta add the eye sauce on this. It's only right. It's only fitting. I gotta add the hot sauce on this. You don't really know. We do hot sauce over here on, on everything. And everything breaking up. Oh wait a minute, there it is. We got it. 
pay is a better one. <laughs> Cheers. You don't know how sad I am that you like, you know, Super Bowl season. I mean, yeah, I'm always excited around Super Bowl season because every year I've been starting, you know, I always make my buffalo chicken dip every year, you know, go to Super Bowl parties, you know, go, you know, with the food and everything. I always go to, like, the Super Bowl parties for the food because, you know, the food do be lit. Like, and I like to go places to watch the games, but um, I just like um, uh, just you know the vibe and the energy because like you know Super Bowl, the crowd be in into it. It's like a um big like um like a bit like a big emotion. You know, this is just like it's just like um like I don't know I forgot how to describe it. It's just the, in the intensity. That's what I'm trying to say. The intensity. And it's a whole vibe, you know, everybody interacting with one another, you know, everybody just, you know, talking about, you know, their favorite football teams and everything, talking about football in general. And it's it's just like, I just love it when the Super Bowl um, season come around. And it just gives like just a different energy, you know, positive energy, you know, I just, I just love it. And in the light of you know, now that you know my Eagles are in it, it's even it getting me even more excited. But <laughs> now it's just like now it's just give me more of a reason just to be excited about this time of year, you know. And also, for the commercials, so <laughs> everybody watch the Super Bowl for the commercials, um, because <laughs> you know almost every year, you know they give like good commercials. Some, some of the year, I mean the last couple years, the commercials had to been really all that. But um, but I just hope um this year the commercials will be a lot better. But you know me, I like to go like you know for the food. Commercials. Just hope that you know the type of food commercials that um I'm gonna see, so I could be able to do a review on it, <laughs> on whatever commercials it is, no matter what it is that they show that has food related. And also, you know, for the halftime show too. Uh, shout out to Rihanna. She's gonna be performing this year at the um, halftime show. Um, this actually this is gonna be a this is gonna be lit. This is gonna be another good um another good um halftime show. I hope um cause last year. To me, I said last year, the halftime show last year, out of all the ones that I've seen growing up, like the ones that I've seen, now I had to set some people straight when I said that because people was thinking that last year's, I was saying last year's performance was better overall. And it was like, no, no, no. Um, Michael Jackson had the best, um, had the best um, super halftime show performance. I said, I wasn't saying that this was the better overall. Yeah, I know Michael Jackson had a be had a better um halftime show performance or other people, but I'm saying out of the ones that I have seen that I remember growing up when I started watching football, the halftime show that I've seen growing up last year was the better one. You know, with um Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre, Eminem, Mary J. Blige, um they had 50 Cent come out, um <laughs> make his little appearance, and then on um, Kendrick Lamar. Last year, that was a, it was a whole vibe, and I enjoyed every second of that halftime show. So I know um, Rihanna will set it off this year. Um, I just hope she sets she sets it off at, um, at the halftime show, which I'm sure she will. Let's get into these sliders. Slides are not bad. Slides are not bad at all. Add a little hot sauce to this. You already know. It's so good. My own. Um, Um, I 
last week. I went um somewhere to watch the um the uh the other um I went somewhere to watch the um the NFC Championship game when I went uh, I tried to go to to one um to a bar to watch it, but the bar the bar was filled to the capacity because you know it was south it was in South Jersey. And you know South Jersey right near Philly, so I tried to go to a sports bar. One sports bar was filled to capacity, and I went somewhere else. It was it was full, but it wasn't as full, so I was able to watch the game. You know, get a little excited. But so I heard what they were doing in Philly after the Eagles won. Oh man, it was like. So, you know, Philly know how to, how to show out. Philly knows how to show out. <laughs> like, anytime something happens in Philly, they know how to show out. And it is just like, it's like, I love it. I love the, the type of energy that Philly brings, you know? Really brings a different type of energy among other cities, you know. Like, matter of fact, you know, most people will say be saying that they don't like um, Eagles. Everybody I know like be hating on the Eagles. What I come to an understanding, they don't necessarily hate the team; they just hate the fans. Most people hate Eagles fans because they say Eagles fans do too much, you know. Which, you know, as an Eagle fan, I'm not one of those type of, um, I'm not those type of fans that be like, you know, all up in everybody's face, cursing them, cursing people out, giving them the finger, throwing stuff at them. Like if you were um, a fan of an opposing team, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not that type of fan, you know. I'm the type, you know, you're a fan of the other team, you know, I might joke around and, you know, talk a little smack to you, like, uh-huh, boo, and then, you know, at, this, at the end of the day, it's all love, you know, you know, it's all love and, and everything, you know, and, um, most people, you know, they go to the extreme, but the only time I do give Philly fans a leeway was that time when Minnesota came to town. Most people need to realize, don't mess with the Rocky statue, that's all. Just don't mess with the Rocky statue. You mess with the Rocky statue. Don't be surprised of whatever the outcome is going to be. Minnesota came into town. Messed with the Rocky statue. Five years ago. And then you see what happened. They got their behind blown out. Fans were throwing stuff at the um, Minnesota fans and everything when they got to the um, when they got to the stadium. Which I said, and I said, I said, look, they deserve that. They deserve that. Yeah, us Philly fans, we be riled up when we at home. But when we go to other people's um, cities, we stay together. They stay together, but they don't take over. Like, I mean, more fans do come out, but they don't disrespect, like, the landmark of certain cities. And, like, when people come in, they take over. They mess with the Rocky statue. And that's, like, one of the landmarks in Philly. So you can't, you know... That's just the result. That just was gonna happen. But all in all, when San Francisco fans was messing with the Rocky statue, you see what happened. They, they ran out of quarterbacks. They got blown out. Now, am I nervous for this on Super Bowl? Yes, I am. Am I hoping they're going to win? I hope and pray that they do win. I know it's not going to be hard. I mean, I know it's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. But I just hope they come out on top. Because it's a good scenario. A lot of history is being made at the Super Bowl. You know, Black History Month. You got two 
for the first time ever in Super Bowl history, you got two black quarterbacks starting in the Super Bowl. Two black quarterbacks of an opposing team starting in the Super Bowl. The Eagles got a, a, a black female assistant coach coaching in her first Super Bowl. You got... I know most people like don't like um when I say this like when I have I have one of my own um, people make fun of me when I when I was saying this but hey two set of brothers going against each other in the Super Bowl two Kelsey brothers going against each other in the Super Bowl yeah I know they both play offense but hey they still gonna go against each other regardless either way. The mom is happy. Either way, the mom can't lose, what Travis Kelsey said. <laughs> and then also you got Andy Reid going against his former team that he used to coach. That is another one. So, it's going to be a good Super Bowl. I know it is. I know it is. And I'm just, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm just I'm just here for it. And I just can't wait. But you know. I'm gonna be so hurt. If they lose, I mean, I'm gonna be disappointed. But at the end of the day, I'm gonna enjoy. It. I enjoyed the ride, but I want. I actually want them to win the second, their second Super Bowl title. But then, and then. Our head coach Nick Sirianni, he stepped up. He improved as a head coach. He definitely improved. And kudos to him because, whew, I know last season it was his first um year coaching, but and he was just getting his you know get his um get his feet wet in the coaching game, but. He improved a lot, and <laughs> it's actually gonna um, really determine everything. And Jalen Hurts improved a lot with his game too. You know, everybody asked me this because, so do you know, my father, um, he is a diehard Dallas Cowboys fan, right? And people ask me, you know, um, how can you, um, how, how are you an Eagles fan? Your dad's a Dallas Cowboys fan. Like, how is that, um... How was the rivalry like? How was like living like with your dad? Like, how was like you know when it's game day? You know how me? Here, here's how it is. Me and my dad, you already know the things I say. And I tell my dad, like, look, I love you, but right now we enemies until after the game. And we we, we talk a little smack to each other here and there, but at the end of the day, it's all fun. We're not really serious. It's all fun and everything, you know? And that's just how it is. When I first got into watching football, the team I actually watched, like when I first started watching football, the team I was always watching was either there was the Giants, it was the Cowboys, and it was the Eagles. And one, then one year, when I actually sat down and developed, like, a feeling and watch an actual um, to sit down and watch the team, I saw the Eagles and I was like, okay, I like the Eagles. And 
and that's just that's how I develop my life for the Eagles more. Um, my dad, diehard Cowboy fan. Hey, be cool with it. Football, we all we bitter enemies. Basketball, we bitter enemies. Cause those of you who know, I'm a um I'm a Nets fan. Um, and I know um. And in baseball, it's the only common ground because both me and my dad like the New York Mets. When I first started watching baseball, I was watching baseball with my dad, and he always had the Mets on, and I liked the Mets. My favorite um, baseball player was Mike Piazza when I first started watching the Mets. And then my other um, baseball player who I watched, too, outside of the Mets, was Ken Griffey Jr. So, And I also get asked this question, how do you have... One, um, how do you like the Eagles, but then you got two New York teams? Well, to me, when I actually sat down and was watching the actual, um, when I when I developed a life for a team, it will come either out of, like, like I said, how me and my dad have a common ground on baseball teams when I was watching baseball with my dad when I was growing up, and then he always had the Mets on, and that's all who I watched. And I developed a life for them. And... When I got into basketball, when I first started watching basketball, I came in around the time when it was the Lakers and the Sixers and the um and the NBA Finals, and I felt like I only, and I liked the, the Lakers, and I felt like I only went after I liked the Lakers because you know that's the only team everyone was talking about. I was like, oh, Lakers, Kobe, Shaq, and da da da, and I felt like I was only liking them because everybody else was liking them. But until one time, one day, I sat down and actually started watching the Nets play. And the only player that stuck out for me, which is my favorite basketball player, Jason Kidd. And that was when I started liking the Nets. I was like, you know, I like the Nets. Like, they, they actually a decent team. And this is when they was in New Jersey. Now, which is another reason why I like the Nets. Because, you know, New Jersey Nets. Yeah. I'm a Jersey boy. I like the New Jersey Nets. Yeah. And that both me watching the Eagles. Like I said, I sat down, watched the Eagles play one game, and boom, that's when I started liking them. So, yeah, I know. I have one Philly team and two New York teams, but hey, they all local to me. So, so I really don't even, like, <laughs> I don't even care. So, so if you see me <laughs> in a, uh, if you see me come to the um, Wells Fargo Center with a Brooklyn Nets hat on, then whenever the Nets come into town, just know to all the Sixers fans, I'm an Eagles fan. Just know that. You don't necessarily have to have, to me, you don't necessarily have to have one, all um, teams in one city. No, you don't need to have all um, teams in one city. You could like have different teams in different, everywhere else. You know? Like, I know some, some I know some people who are Sixers fans but in football, they like the Dallas. They like Dallas. My dad, who was a um, who was a New York Mets fan, he um, he a Milwaukee Bucks fan. And he a Dallas Cowboys fan. He got teams all over. I know some people got teams all over. So, so yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily have to have a one team settle in one city. That's because I'm an Eagles fan. Doesn't necessarily mean I gotta be a Phillies fan or a Sixers fan. No, nah. it's just how I am. I like what I like. We all like who we like, right? So, that's just my opinion. I know my past relationship, <laughs> he was always better enemies. My ex, um, I did, um, my ex, she was a, um, a Giants fan, and she knew I was an Eagles fan, so we was always better enemies against each other. <laughs> but it was fun, though. You know, it was fun. <laughs> and, um, it's just a lot. 
it's all sports is all fun. It's all about having fun, you know. That's all it is. At the end of the day, we all having fun. We talk junk. We like to talk junk. Like one of my coworkers said, they like to talk their junk sometimes. Just you know, that's what they do. It's like, oh, I, I talk junk and all that. But at the end of the day, they real. They're realists. They're the type of sports fan. They'll they'll talk junk. But at the end of the day, they're realists. And that's what I am too. So. So I'm gonna come with facts sometimes. So you never know. I don't know what's gonna happen. They say it's on any given Sunday. You never know which team gonna come out. No one expected, like matter of fact, in the playoffs, no one expected the Giants to even make it that far in the playoffs. They counted them out all right out the gate. Until they came in the second round and played and played the Eagles. But no one expected them to even make it that far. So, we all like who we like. Matter of fact, comment down below. If you made it this far, if you're still with the flow of this video, comment down below your favorite football team. Comment your favorite football team. You're, like if you're a die, die hard fan and comment and also comment your favorite football player if you have one. Let's see. We all like who we like, so I wanna know from my um from my fifth fam, who do y'all like actually? And also tell me who y'all rooting for in the Super for in the Super Bowl this Sunday. Tell me who y'all rooting for. You know, I know I said I was going to try to interact with y'all, like, which I am. I'm interacting with y'all. But I'm going to just say this. Whenever I get quiet and I um, don't have nothing to say, just know I'm going to be enjoying this food. All right? <laughs> and I don't know if y'all want to hear me munching and crunching all the whole time. I don't know if y'all do want to hear me much. When y'all want me to do an ASMR the whole time? I mean, hey. A Super Bowl mukbang ASMR. <laughs> that doesn't sound like a bad idea, matter of fact. Everything is hitting though. I know that this not this, this nacho platter, this nacho platter is hitting. I know that. <coughs> Everything is hitting. Like how I suspected it to be for the Super Bowl nachos. <laughs> Man. Why are everybody having any Super Bowl parties? If y'all having a Super Bowl party, comment down below. 
Like, comment, comment down below what y'all doing for the Super Bowl this year. You know, if you're having a party or you know, you're not doing nothing or you're going somewhere, you're going to a Super Bowl party, you know, comment down below. You know, tell me. Let me know. Let me know what y'all doing. Or what y'all are normal traditions that y'all do every year. Now, I want to know because I, I like to experiment, um, like, do different things every year, you know. This is getting so good, like, I don't know, like, man, I'm, I, I don't know if I'm gonna have anything, you know, to make for this little Super Bowl gathering that I'm gonna have. That is if I have one, because like I said, I'm trying to be doing different things. You know, sometimes I like to be in a couple in my home. You know, nobody around. But then also I like, you know, and plus, you know, sometimes I don't like being around too many people. I like, you know, the people that I'm close to. And I know some people can attach, you know, sometimes I just don't like being around a lot of people. Some people, y'all come, y'all can call me an introvert. But... Sometimes I don't like too much people, too many people. You know, I've been like that ever since I was little. My parents tell me, but then at the end of the day, you know, I don't really interact that much. But sometimes I do. You know, when it when it comes to like stuff like this, I like the interaction sometimes. You know, but then at the same time, I like I do like my like to be alone, <laughs> like be my own, <laughs> be by myself. You know. Ah, <laughs> uh, but I was <laughs> just rambling on. That's just me though. <sighs> we almost there. We almost halfway there. Uh, don't have that much left. I'm surprised I actually ate all of this. <laughs> I don't have that much left, so uh, I'm gonna try to speed eat this. But um, but yeah, everything is hitting so um, much. And plus, y'all know last month I was doing a whole vegan thing, which is probably why I'm so hungry right now. But I'm still gonna limit myself, you know, with this type of um, eating. You know, I'm going to try to let myself to either once or maybe twice a month, maybe. But other than that, this is really, um, good, um, this is really good, though. I ain't going to lie. I mean, I still not going to make the whole vegan thing a lifestyle. I, that's something I can't do. All I know is, like, I'm going to I'm a fluctuate, I'm going to rotate different diets. You know how I... Do bit like I, I do vegan once, then I'ma switch over, go to the pescatarian, and then after pescatarian, then I'ma switch over and go to um uh after pescatarian, I'ma go over, switch over to keto, and then after keto, you know, vice versa, you know, do, do all different different types of diets, you know. I like to experiment different diets, and with you know one cheat day, like if I go vegan. I'm going to do have a cheat day vegan style like how you like how y'all seen um when I did vegan like I had the uh, went to a vegan restaurant I had a vegan cheese steak vegan um burger you know fries and you know all that type of stuff you know and that's just me but overall 
really do enjoy it. And now I feel like I feel like a lot better. I feel like a lot better now ever since I did that like, gold vegan vegetarian thing. I feel like a lot better now. Like I feel like my body is like kind of like rejuvenated. And then and it's what it needed. You know, I'm trying to get a little bit more energy now. My um you know, my um muscles are like returning back to its normal state, you know. And my mind is actually a little bit more clearer now. And now it's like I'm more focused. So I well, I actually kind of did enjoy it. myself now. Whew. Realize how much how much Doritos do be. Yeah. Like it's a tangle. Every time I eat it, it's like a tangle going on like, like when I bite into it. Tangle going on. But I know it's it's a spiciness from it. It's, and it's sweet too, so you make the sweet and the spicy, and it leaves like a little tingle in your mouth, pause, you know? Like, yeah. I think that's what that is. Yeah. Ooh. We're getting there. We're getting there. Just trying to, uh, oh, just go pace myself. I mean, it's really not a lot left, so. <sighs> All right. All right. Let's get into this. See all the meat is down, so all that's left is just these little um piece of Doritos here. I don't know, I'm gonna try to get through the um rest of the Doritos. But not the, you know. All the yeah, I got the uh majority of the, the meat and the um sliders now. That's all that matters. But man. This is ooh. Trying to hit my capacity now. Whew. Man, I'm trying to hit my capacity. I don't know if these chips are going to do it though. Just gonna do it. I don't know, man. Cause, woo, man, this this is really, you know, getting this this. Whew. No, oh, I did it. Finished every 
everything on here. There's every little thing on here. Huh. Wow, that was a color. Whew. That did it for me. That, 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 that right there did it for me. I didn't know how I was going to finish all that, but hey, I did it, and then finished it. The Doritos did it for me. That was the main part of that, but overall, got everything down like I said I would. Everything was hitting. Everything was good. So, whew, that, that was awesome. So, that was a Super Bowl. Nacho mukbang. It was good. It was awesome. Best way to start off, you know, Super Bowl season. Loved it. Once again, shout out to the Philadelphia Eagles on making it to the Super Bowl. Go Eagles. And let's go win this number two. Let's go win this chip. Get go for number two this year. All right. But thank you all for tuning in so much. I really do appreciate it. If you haven't done so, Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Hit that um, post notification so that way you'll be not notified whenever I drop a brand new video. And also, do not forget to follow me on all social media platforms at Jeremy J. Fit on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. All right? Thank you all so much. I really do appreciate it. And always remember, do great, be great, feel great. All right, I love y'all. I'm out.